Hey guys, Rob from Cigar Federation here live IPCPR. Well, I guess it's not live when you guys see it. IPCPR 2014 uh, in our <laughs> luxurious hotel room. It's okay. Dustin Campus to my right. Oi! Beer! Give me some beer! Uh, we've got, uh, what's that, Logan and Jared and the Canadian are, uh, are in, their own, uh, in their own rooms. What's going on, guys? Nothing, man. We wanted to think about potentially, possibly, talking about some of the cool shit that we saw today on this, the first day of IPCPR. It looks like the, when we can see you guys with, you're the boss, the muscle standing behind you, and you're delivering... Dustin and I have very bad news. <laughs> it could be. It could be. I'm issuing Dustin a performance review for the shitty amount of interviews he actually got accomplished today. Got be that. So okay. So we'll go. Let's. Uh, okay. Dustin and I'll start because. Anyway, know. what was the coolest thing you saw, Rob? The coolest thing, like the coolest cigar, or what? I mean, just coolest everything. So the stuff that really got my attention today, obviously, the Jericho Hill. Big fan. Uh, you guys know how I feel about crowned heads. So we don't really need to go into you all that. You took Jared's thing. Okay. Um, what else? I kind of had a feeling I'd be taking everybody's thing, but I've got four things I want to talk about. Uh, we s sat down, spent some time with uh, Dean from Epic Cigars, the Epic Habano. Um, I guess I could take it out of the cell so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, I actually smoked one of these already. This is the uh, Fat Rothschild, which just reminds me of Logan. Um, <laughs> And I really enjoyed this one. Smoked for about 45 minutes. It was a good little smoke. Uh, the coolest thing that we did with an interview was with CAO, and this is uh, Amazon, and I cannot remember the name of it. Amazon something, but it's got Amazonian Amazon. tobacco. What? Huh? Amazon Prime. It's not Amazon Prime. Uh, Amazon it. tobacco in it, and uh, it just smells. It. it just smells like fruit, man. Like it smells like raisins. Dates, for real. Raisins, dates and raisins. That's exactly what it smells like. What? Interesting band on it too. Oh yeah, the band is the uh, it's the vein from down the the stem from the middle of the uh, of the tobacco leaf. So you got I don't know if you guys. But can apparently you don't smoke that because that's really bitter as fuck. Is what they said. What? I don't know. What's they bitter? Said, that's what uh, Rick Rodriguez was saying. Is that don't smoke the little band on it from the oh, vein yeah. because it's bitter as fuck. Is what he yeah, said. Yeah, take it off. We say fuck, but you know. And then probably it. my favorite band of the day. Uh, we we'll go to the uh, the double nickel here. This is goes back oh, my, Rod. my my Giants roots. The double nickel from Lou Rod. Um, haven't had a chance to smoke this, and we really haven't had a chance to sit down and talk with Lou Rod yet. But digging this band, although it doesn't seem to have the secondary band on there. So once this big mama jamma comes off, you're just smoking a bandless cigar. So that's kind of the stuff that jumped out at me. Dustin, my turn. My turn. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> no. All right, go All right. talk about go your ahead. bullshit, Regis. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, fuck. I mean, to talk about Regis. You don't have to yeah. yell. We're right here. I know. Sorry, I'm yelling. I've had a lot of espresso. The espresso was really good today, and it was very exciting. Um, hot chicks with espresso and Macallan 12. That was one of my highlights. Uh, as far as cigars are concerned, Total Flame has a new little Perfecto coming out that I'm very excited about because it came out of the Aurora factory. Uh, it's a Total Flame Premium. Is what Total Flame Premium. Uh, I was jerking myself off over this Jesus. one called Atabay. Uh, it was really, really, really good. Coop and Seth told me to, to seek these guys out, and it was so damn good, I clipped the cigar in half so that I could take it outside and finish it. Here it is. Uh, then some Lancero Love from Guayacan. Yeah, that's the new one. That's, yeah. uh, what's, how do you pronounce it? Uh, sabor de Esteli. There you go. Aroma of Esteli. I'm excited to try this because it's a Lancero. And then I got a super secret Lancero from Cabal. Oh, that's what you know about. It's we can't, awesome. Can't say what it's called, but it's good. And then I got this other Lancero, and it was a personal blend from a company that I love dearly. And I'm not going to say because this isn't some shit that all of you regular people get to smoke. This is what us fucksticks <laughs> who come out here and watching this are big big get to smoke. Morally. And Thanks. that we don't give to people like Logan because he could not fully grasp the awesomeness that is in this little answer. Because it probably <laughs> tastes like in mushrooms. And mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Anyways, what well, got me really jazzed, other than this huge blister I got on my pinky toe. Yeah! Uh, yeah, man, was one thing, and it was kind of, well, actually, it was a couple things. First thing blew my mind, 
I can't really show you right now, so you have to watch the video. But we were at the La Gloria booth, the trunk show. Um, they have three trunk shows coming out this year, obviously. And they have the smokable bands. Smokable bands this year are absolutely crazy looking. Like to the point where we're like, is this really like not a band? It was amazing. I didn't even think it was a smokable band. I know, dude. It I was, asked it was specifically, good. did you guys cancel the smokable bands? It was anyway. legit. But yeah. on their, uh, on their, I guess their chapter one of La Gloria, the box there's it's kind of like a yin and a yang kind of thing. One's really light, one's really dark. Boxes look freaking great. In the middle of the interview, he split the boxes apart. So legitimately, it's. Box is held together with magnets, but you can break. Like dude, Hulk Hogan, dude, like it was fucking badass, dude. Like it blew my mind. It was fucking awesome. So, anyways, you'll see the video. Surgeon, what about you? Uh, well, I'm pretty excited to do uh, Smoke Fred's uh, C276, which, uh, incidentally, Fred, uh, we cracked your code. The uh, 276 is the uh, was it the growing regions of uh, uh, Omotepe? Uh, Omotepe. It's the uh, square kilometers of Omotepe. So suck it. Just kidding. It, uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. It uh, looks really interesting. I'm, I'm super excited to smoke that. Uh, Brent Wilson, would be Fred Rui of Nomad Cigars. Just yeah. so. so you know. Wilson uh, Wilson Adams hooked us up with a very, very nice looking Lancero. And again, you know, hoping this is the year of the Lancero. Uh, just the fact that it's a Lancero already puts it on on good side with me. I'm pretty excited to smoke that. Uh, like uh, Rob, I am also excited to, uh, to smoke this... Uh, this interesting Brazilian cigar. Um, the nose on this is like I can't even describe it. It's like uh, raisin. aromatic raisin pipe tobacco something. And in fact, really I'm gonna smoke one tonight uh, when I get my beer. Because unfortunately, uh, we were working hard. Like uh, some other people who were getting espressos, we were too busy working. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, I have to wait for my beer. I was looping the deals, man. <laughs> you were not lubing any deals, man. Anyways, that was stupid. Uh, Jared, what about you, brother? I had to go dig in the box because everybody else had to go before me to cover everything up. But my biggest thing I'll be showing you, because all the scars have mostly been showed, seems to be the year of the Lancero. And that makes me not about as much as old, cat, or, yeah, old Catfish does over here. Read your shit. Yeah, Regis and Atabe, Cabal. Any of it, yeah, yeah, any of his little buddies like that. <laughs> his yeah. little buddies. Well, anyways, so we're gonna be doing this recap show every night. It's stupid, I know, but you'll see it live on the homepage of Cigar Federation when you wake up. Yeah. Obviously, it's not live, <laughs> but yeah. we'll you guys, some tips, tricks. Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, Cigar Federation. Yeah. If you guys have to, for anything you want to ask one about, last thing, Logan, jump in. Cohiba Nicaragua. I'm actually intrigued to smoke this one. I'm actually very excited yeah, to smoke really it. Excited. I actually I thought yeah. somebody else would comment on it, so I left it alone. I haven't really smoked much of the domestic Cohiba stuff in a while, to be honest. Uh, we spent a lot of time in the general booth today. They were really accommodating. But uh, this is general for that. I mean, they spend a, a lot of time with us, uh, a lot of their time with us. When you know they have customers there, and it was pretty cool that they spent a lot of time doing videos and uh, yeah, product I mean, development. We had some some folks that were dedicated just to you know giving us some time, which was nice. But this Cohiba Nicaragua, I don't remember what the price point is on this thing, um, but uh, I am kind of excited about it. I am a founder. What's that? It was yeah, it was like fifteen or ten to fifteen. I can't remember. Yeah, ten to fifteen, something like that. And all the foundry stuff. You guys will see the video. Michael Giannini's is <laughs> oh, awesome. He's so freaking out there, but he's awesome. Uh, I no other human being can rock a full pink linen suit. Oh, that's badass. Full pink. Go see this guy. It was re le legit. But anyway, see so shout out to the guys in general. Shout out to everybody who, who uh, talked to us today, because to be honest, I mean, true story. There was, uh, we had several guys that were busy when we were up to them, and, and we'll get back to them tomorrow. But for the most part, everybody who uh, who we talked to, Jared and I talked to today, was, was extremely receptive, and a lot of people uh, had recognized us from our shirts, and it was very good. So, Oh, you got serious just now. That's weird. I know. I kind know. of freaks me out. You're Don't a, make me get all serious, bro. How many interviews did you Breaking news is the foundry line is being killed. You heard it here first. We broke it. So, you know, that's right. Hashtag suck it. Hashtag over. Yeah, it's over. That's guy. It's. I mean, he kind of took it to the, he's 50 years in the past and 50 years in the future. And Martian tobacco and weird shit. So I don't know what's going on there, but some cool stuff. That's it. So. We'll be back tomorrow. Check it out. 
Peace. Cigar Federation. Peace. Come on. Come on.